You got Tammy Pard, Lisa. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? Hey, buddy, you gonna eat that sausage? No, 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 go past this. Past this part. In fact, never play this again. Tell me something, my friend. Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the role? Ladies and gentlemen. Your complete attention, if you please. The Epic Film Guys Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the miserable retail slave to join us here on the stream in just a moment. We're going to have Randy and Tommy join us here on the stream live. Let's hope they're ready because we're just going to unceremoniously grab them and just dump them right in the chat. (laughs) Boom. Randy? Nicholas. (laughs) And is Tommy there? Hey. What's up? Can they hear me? Oh, baby donation from Cody Law. Thank you very much for your twenty-five dollar donation, getting us up to six hundred and ninety dollars. And yes, Woo-hoo! Tommy Thompson, I can hear you. All right. Hey, was that a Zildjian shirt that I saw you wearing there? Yeah, long time are ago, you, man. Are you a drummer? Uh, I, I used to be. Got it. Uh, video a drummer. Always a drummer. Come That's on. True. That is true. That is true. <laughs> my kids over at my buddy's house. I have not played in forever. So. You guys are the miserable retail slave. Where's Randy? He's usually way louder and way mouthier than this. I I killed him. Oh yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> don't don't forget about me. <laughs> I guess since we're on the show and our good friend was it Cody Larue that donated? Was that was it Cody Larue? Larue? I think so. It God bless that. Been, I might have. It, it's it appears over the live stream chat, which is like oh. the weirdest place for it to appear because it doesn't look right. So okay. Oh my God, Cody LaRue from the King Rat Show. Guess what, son? You're just a hot gun. You got it. <laughs> Tommy, it's time to get the show started. Let's show the people what Miserable Retail Slave is all about. Ah, uh, really? Are you ready for this? I don't even know what it's all about. <laughs> uh, I'm about to inform you, sir. Six years and I'm still confused. You're still just befuddled. Tommy, the story that I'm about to tell you is so startling. It may rattle your very bones. Do you guys love it that Randy just takes over? He's just like, this is my show now. That's it's my whole point, show. man. This, this is a featured this is a featured programming block. That means we are featuring featuring a retail slave. That you means I sit here and shut the fuck up and listen to you guys. <laughs> Tommy, this woman came into the holy cathedral of awesome. That is the retail paradise that gainfully employs me. Blonde, early to mid twenties. Hmm. Had one of those baby childs, a boy kind, if you will. And this boy kind of baby child, he's sitting in the shopping cart in the classic shopping cart position. That spot where you either put a boy baby child or a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. He was right there. So she comes in with her whole wheat baby and she starts browsing around. She stops to look at something. She's like, oh, great. Look at this. As one tends to do in a retail paradise, you know? Right. So her baby's all happy and smiley and everything. And all of a sudden, this older woman walks up to them. And I'm like, oh. And 20-something mom smiles, you know, and they converse. And I'm thinking, oh, there's grandma, you know. Right. Going to see the grandson. Mom says something, smiles, turns away. Grabs something off the shelf. All of a sudden, old lady leans in as she does this, kisses the baby on the forehead, jets. Wow, a kiss and run. A kiss and run. And that's when I realized this wasn't a grandma. grandma? This was, was just, just some random old lady. You can't kiss a baby, Tommy. Well, I know that. You cannot. You have some nerve to kiss a baby. <laughs> I don't care. That's why I only put the bread in that spot. Exactly. Right. You don't want a whole wheat baby there. You kiss the bread. You don't kiss a baby. <laughs> and I'm thinking this lady has some nerve thinking, oh, I'm grandmotherly. I can kiss a baby. You look like Frodo Baggins, lady, and I'm sick of you taking such presumption under your wing. That baby would never be the same. Have you ever seen an old person, an old woman? That baby is now part of the Have you seen an old woman in the wild, Tom? Have you seen an old person in real life? They have no idea what they're doing, do they? Oh, my God. Their hands are just these (laughs) flimsy spider webs of veins. Can you imagine that touching a a sweet, innocent baby child? You have this cute, cute baby and all these olds just circling around like buzzards and i am sick of it it's not a baby anymore that child done grown up today 
uh, was was that old lady trying to suck the baby's youth <laughs> straight from the baby's forehead? Gypsy tears, huh? Gypsy tears. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure this woman wasn't running for mayor, so she's not shaking hands and kissing babies. I think she's just some some weird old. These weird olds take a lot of of youth away. Excuse me? <laughs> Was I talking here? I, I don't listen to you. You know that. They take a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? I, I don't know, Randy. You're talking. They think they rule the world. That's what uh. I'm trying to tell you. Can't you read my mind? <laughs> stop taking talking to our old... Stop talking to our babies, old people. Would you please? I agree. You can't kiss a baby. Take that to your grave, Tommy. <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> All right. Randy, are you drinking? Did you steal some of your dad's beers you said? I stole some Papa's <laughs> beers. I showed up with beers for once because I know I know you guys like to drink, and I, you know, it's early, even though I have to work tomorrow. Wow. Like, fuck it. I'm drinking. You're, You're drinking. drinking. love for you, baby. <laughs> you got to drink. So at this point, we, we told that that was our cold open. Moral of the story, don't go around kissing babies, you people. <laughs> got that down. I won't. Now's the point where... I say, start donating, people. Yeah, for you sure. know, just start donating, and also, uh oh, drop, boy. I don't know. I'm not sure what is going on, Randy, but that's actually not coming through. Oh, good. D boy, D boy will not be played. Apparently, he's he's had enough of your shenanigans. I think D boy has been. D-boy. Well, guess what? We don't need the theme song. <laughs> we don't need it tonight. Why I not? It was kind of weird you were doing it anyway. I'm like, oh, well, you, you took offense to that? I did a little. Bit. Oh yeah. my goodness! Well, I'm, not sure. to- I'm not sure what the hell happened there, but I got a big a. Big shout out. John DeQuilla dropped a fifty dollar donation during Randy's baby yeah. story there. Seven hundred and forty dollars toward the cure. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you very much, John DeQuilla. You my boy. So welcome to the Miserable Retail Slave Show. We're coming to you from the pod check outside beautiful Flint, Michigan, USA. My name is Randy. Tommy's over there. Hey, did you almost call me you? Did I almost you call you? Bit, yeah. I think you need to reevaluate that <laughs> sentence you just said. I mean, I'm pulled into the pod check today with these nervous eyes, like, oh, nervous you know, eyes. I thought the poor lad was going to puzzle in his black empowerment jeans over bedroom there. Eyes. Excuse me, mm. bedroom eyes. <laughs> nervous eyes. I've been drinking since one thirty. Oh, that's something to brag about. <laughs> I haven't. I have okay, not. Grandpa. I did slam one before I came over. But... Well, you got to settle the nerves. You're on live stream for the Cure 2.0. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Justin, for having us. Mm-hmm. We love you. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for being a part of it, and thanks for entertaining the shit out of me already. What a great <laughs> opening to the show, man. You guys are amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, amazing. Just, yeah, I like that. I Keep like the how, adjectives coming. I love it that nobody calls Randy amazing in real life. It's only. It's only ever, um... <laughs> I live vicariously through the interwebs. Thank you very much. Cold. There I am a god. In real life, I'm a mere peasant. Oh, well. Oh, well. Maybe not that far. <laughs> so anybody that's li- been listening to the show for any stretch knows that for a long time I've been doing this thing called online dating. Yeah, and failing miserably. Hey, girl, hey. My uh, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> so, I mean, mm, it's something that I I started on the show, and I've continued, in fact, the the very first night I tried online dating, we signed up right on this program and uh, I've been doing it for a while and it's been, I'm always running into the weirdest things on this online dating. Thing. Like rejection. That's very weird. If you look at me, <laughs> you'd think, how does that boy ever strike out? Right. <laughs> the dude, weirdest. The, the dude in the carpenter jeans and the sketchers. Listen, tonight on? I'm wearing my very best ringer tee. So I, <laughs> you, I are very, to... you look like a kindergartner right now. It's, it's definitely Randy. Okay. You look like the shadow of the moon over there, fat boy. So what? you don't like my beard? Your beard? I'm I mean, nobody that. even paid for an insult yet. Well, you know, <laughs> that that was free. That was on the house. That was on the house. So I'm always coming across these weird things on, on this online dating. Like laptops. What? 
coming what? across weird things like laptops. Well, that Keep was gross. That on. was gross. This is a PG show. <laughs> oh, thank you very listen. fucking much. <laughs> so I'm always running into the weirdest things on this online dating. And one of the things I've seen several times, and you wouldn't think it would be possible, but it is. One of the oddest things I've encountered. Well, here's an example. You read a girl's profile. I like to have fun. I'm fun and outgoing. I have two kids who are my world. Plus another one on the way. <laughs> and already dating. So let's see. Let's, let's get the priorities and straight. <laughs> Is this a Judd Apatow comedy? Got to keep the babies where the bread goes. How would this even work? Say I date you for three months. You go into labor. Am I required to be in the room when the baby is born? <laughs> yeah, I'll cut the cord all right on this relationship right now. That's a deal breaker. I'm sorry. Say you have this baby. Will you need to take a maternity leave from this relationship? <laughs> Do I have to wait three months, six weeks, four weeks, whatever, to see you again? I don't think so. I think she no. wants you there all the way. Oh my well, not God. you specifically. Definitely not you, but somebody. Right. I'd have to at least go to the hospital, right, and visit her. <laughs> and that's a test because I'm awkward in places like that. Like, I never know where to go in places like that. I'm always lost. I'm like, oh, no. Oh. This is what you do. You just act like you're in relationships for the better part of your day, don't you? Yeah, like, what am I going to do? My girlfriend's fantasy. having a baby. Yeah, exactly. My girlfriend's <laughs> having a baby. So I get there. Will I have to hold that baby? Do I have to hold the baby? And then the nurses will wonder and ask who I am, and I'll have to say, I'm the maybe daddy? Well. <laughs> and I can't hold the baby too close because, Tommy, you can't kiss a baby. You just can't do it. Well, if you're just a creepy stepdad, maybe. Just a creepy maybe daddy. <laughs> I mean, I saw this woman on there, and she she's – said that she the first thing people know to notice about her she has no front teeth and i'm like oh that's a fun joke <laughs> you think that you have to say that's the first thing people notice about me yeah yeah yeah. i think that goes without saying right so i'm like oh that's a fun joke she must be joking surely she just <laughs> oh no no <laughs> no 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 surely oh don't call me surely because i found this woman i saw a video and oh my god Sure as shit, she was missing at least five to six of the fuckers in the front row there. Wow. And I'm like, how do you eat? <laughs> do you, like, put pebbles in your mouth and swish them around to grind up the food? Ooh. Just lets her cereal sit in the milk for ten minutes before she shouts down. <laughs> right. I mean. <laughs> got to get those nutrients somehow. I know. Man. That story's got to be good for at least another $150,000, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so did you message the girl? Are you going on a date with her? I did not actually. That's where the length of my shallowness, <laughs> my shallowness is at least two inches, and that that was way beyond my depth. Something else is. Oh snap! Tommy's a saucy man today. <laughs> Watch out, everybody! I am so sick of everything, Tommy. Yeah. Did you know this about me? I don't think you've ever stopped being sick of everything. Did you know this? Did you know that thing about me? That you're I'm a little of... cynical. Well, clink that thing a little bit more. Oh, that's a wedding noise. ring. Sorry, when I came oh. back. Just <laughs> rubbing it in my face. You're like, I'm married, clink, clink. I'm, that's got to be what it is. <laughs> yeah. You're there with your pretend relationships. And I'm like, yeah, you're just, that, Randy? you're just clinging your ankle bracelet to your ball and chain to the chair. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much tired of being trapped in this jail cell, this prison of monotony. I am. Yeah. And here's the thing. Like, we're doing this thing for, for uh, live stream is a cure. And sure, cure cancer. It's stupid. Right. We can agree with that. Yeah. Let's get rid of cancer. Let's get, a ra get rid of racism. Let's get rid of carpenter genes. All these things must go. <laughs> oh, wow. That that, huh? That's a big sacrifice for Randy. You know, I'm willing. Yes, for the good of the planet, I'm willing. Okay? <laughs> I think. What about striped would... polos? Yeah, right. Striped polos will never die. You can take those <laughs> over my dead body. I dare you. I swear to God, if you guys seen Randy in real life, you'd think he had the same outfit since preschool. You're like, he just got bigger sizes every year. He, he needs to come with a name tag. Tommy, nobody donated, but you look like you look like the sketch that a five-year-old draws of somebody's imaginary friend. <laughs> just a straggly beard. and just Like a biker fucked a beaver. 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's That's been, it's been, I've been saying that on stage lately, and it's been getting such a good applause. <laughs> I get an applause break by telling people that I look like a biker fucked a beaver. It's just ridiculous. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad. The beloved, my wife was in the front row the other my night. Wife. And uh, she was in the front row, and it was the first time she heard me say that, and she laughed harder than everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Like wow, she's like that's I married that. Right. I, I took the sacrifice. I, I asked her right on stage. I was like, "Wow, honey, you have a thing." I had already pointed out that that was my wife. I was like, "Wow, do you have a thing for beavers?" And she's laughing. I was like, "I got a thing for your beaver." And then everybody laughed. Like, oh right. my god, how vulgar! Are yeah, you yeah, it was pretty good. You're really stepping over <laughs> some sort of line there. <laughs> but but we're One doing this. Go over the line, sweet Jesus. Stop quoting songs. Nobody likes that. That's so a great song. <laughs> I didn't judge of that. Yeah. Who says? I you? bet you they play Zildjian cymbals on that song. Excuse me? Probably. <laughs> oh, drummer boy. Little drummer boy there pipes in. Yeah. Man, you just bond over your drums. I'll just talk to... Hey, Justin, what's going on? I'll just bond Justin. Yeah, I'll tell Justin I like his tattoos, and then you'll be out of the fucking conversation. Yeah. yeah. I'll just oh, game my head outside. <laughs> Cry about it. You've been ousted. I've been housed. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to cut in here really, really quickly and let you know that not only, not only can you make donations, and I gotta find the image. I think I sent it to myself, Randy, for things that you can do that Randy will do live on the stream for a small donation <laughs> oh toward the cure. But also if you donate five dollars, you'll get your gif. You can get a gif added to the gif or the gif or however the fuck you want to pronounce it. Who cares? It's a gif, damn it. It's a Shut fucking up. gif. To the slideshow <laughs> that you see at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> right now. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further. Before we go any further. Hang on, wait a minute. God uh -oh. damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, God damn. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> We're going further. Oh man. So, so we're doing this live stream for the care. We're trying to, we're helping out. We're right. trying to get rid of this stupid cancer thing. Right. I have a feeling that eventually they're going to figure all this out. They're going to cure all the diseases. Here's what I'm afraid of. Afraid of, however, I'm going to be 60 years old, and scientists will come up with some sort of fountain of youth drink, Fountain Dew, probably. We'll <laughs> call it. And it'll make you. It'll. You drink it, and you'll be able to live to be 300 years old. But you're already 60. Does it freeze you in the time that you're... Yeah, I'd say so. Oh. Maybe it rejuvenates yourself. <laughs> so you just have a... Oh, it rejuvenates yeah, you. Yeah, it's so, a fountain okay. of so youth drink, so why not? Your bad back goes away? It goes away. That's all right. I, I could do that. I think 60-year-olds are cool. They are cool, but here's my problem. I'm going to live another 240 years... So my response would be, God damn it. <laughs> you got to deal with the world now. Now I have to work 200 more years before I can retire. I don't know, man. Maybe you can still retire at 62. Oh, you think there's going to be a bunch of 145-year-old retirees marching around kissing babies? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, as much as you worked at that retail paradise that gamefully employs you you should probably be able to retire pretty soon hey eh? well not if they come up with the fountain of youth drink I'll, <laughs> i'm stuck there for another 200 250 maybe well maybe you don't want it to rejuvenate you maybe you can use your bad back as a way to just sit around and make more podcasts but but then i'm gonna look like a, a fucking cobweb at the age of 199 and that's no good for anyone what am i supposed <laughs> to do i'm hit, sitting there all dusty and crumbly just have it freeze you in the time you're at so that way you never grow older but you, you can't get any younger either oh you that's can it. you can choose you what stay, it does yeah you just stay 60 okay you stay whatever age you're at you're a fun scientist. You're like, choose your own adventure. <laughs> I'm like, I'll take that one. If we're making shit up, we might as well make it. The I'll best. turn to page 116 and live forever as Arnold Schwarzenegger, I guess, you know? <laughs> or, yeah, just pick your best age, whatever you pick your peak. Pick my peak? Yeah. What's better than right now? <laughs> I'm on top of the world, baby. Well, you find carpenter jeans. Well, so I you think know, you're... I'm a stallion to end all ponies. Are you standing on top of the world in carpenter jeans? <laughs> yeah, my strap is holding the world in place. Deal with it. Place your hand over your head and yes. scream. The earth actually, yeah, I will. <laughs> like Thor. That's my where he, he keeps the hammer where he can bend back the nails of oppression. <laughs> See, you're getting it. This guy understands here. Why are you so against it? 
my strap is around the planet Earth, making it look like Saturn right now. It's great. I'm against it because I've never seen you use carpenter jeans from what they're supposed to be used for. Oh, I'll. I'll you want me to want to see me wield a hammer? You don't I'll do keep it. a triangle in that pocket on the side. Who keeps a triangle on the probably carpenters? Nerds. Okay. What am I? A <laughs> geometry major over here? Well, if you wear carpenter jeans and you're not a carpenter, yeah, you probably are a nerd. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I'm a nerd. We're doing all these things to live forever, Tommy, but nobody. We're, we're prolonging existence as long as possible, but nobody. Nobody's helping our dogs. Not at all. Really? That's what that's what you want to talk about? Well, I'm just saying. I, I live 200 extra years. That's 20 extra dogs I have to mow through. That's an entire lifetime of depression and tears. That's the ending of Marley and me stretched out forever. Yeah, that's why I haven't gotten another dog. <laughs> I'd be perpetually dehydrated from all the tears I'm always squirting. Just for an infinite sadness of doggy death. Do I want that? No. Save our dogs, would you? Old Yeller, come back, Yeller. Well, that's rude. Why? What's wrong with Old Yeller? Well, he, he had all the rabies and well, was trying to give all the boys lockjaw. It wasn't his fault. It was not his fault. <laughs> Whose fault was it? Uh, the the raccoon? Man, yeah. Tommy's Dang. probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that goddamn biker beaver guy. That biker beaver's biting people again. <laughs> uh, so I have been doing this online dating thing and I thought, I, I thought about this the other day because I happened to see this person online on a Facebook page, and I'm like, oh, my God, oh. you know. And uh, it's the same. It's like one of the ladies you've seen online dating? No, this this is like old school online dating. This happened over AIM. <laughs> Before wow. online dating. Jesus. This is AOL <laughs> Instant Messenger. The thing that created online dating? Yeah, pretty much. ASL? Did you ask your ASL? I, well, excuse me? That sounds perverted. You don't remember ASL? Stop it. <laughs> There's women and children listening. Age, sex, location? Come on. God damn. Did you do that? ASL? Oh, stop. I thought that was the first thing you're supposed to ask somebody At, if you're on Every AIM. time you say that, I feel like such a prevert. <laughs> My goodness. All right, More. ladies and gentlemen, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Randy. I'm sorry, but the list for donations for the Miserable Retail Slave Show is on the air. And... Oh. We got another donation. Thank you very much. $20 from Jen up at $760, 15.2% of the way toward the goal of $5,000. Thank you all very, very much. You're incredibly amazing and generous. Keep donating. These guys are some funny motherfuckers. You got to start dropping some dollar bills on them. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. My Make favorite. Make it rain like, you're, like Randy's just humping the Florida strip club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like You mean like it's every Saturday night then? You got to do what you got to do. You got to party on a Saturday night, huh? Got to get your rocks off somewhere. Absolutely. Uh, did you guys see? <laughs> did you? Uh, I'm not so sure if I want to know or even be where Tommy's going to get his rocks off. <laughs> what is this boy talking now? This sounds like the Tomco on the air. It would be a Tomco it's on Tom the Co air. It's Tomco Thursday. Or wait, whatever day it is. Friday, actually. Tomco Friday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Do you guys know that me and Randy know Tomco in real life? Yes. Known him way I'm before. jealous. We drive by his house and throw toilet paper at his front door. <laughs> <laughs> that was you? Uh, actually, Tom likes that because he's so cheap, he actually goes and takes it and uses it in his house. <laughs> oh, my God. I hear a Jake, too. My God. Got them both <laughs> in here, ladies me. and gentlemen. Jake and Tom yes. conquer the world. Uh, Tom Cole and I actually planned this. I was like, do you want to crash Randy and Tommy's segment during the live stream? And he's like, yeah. And where are you guys right now again? We are at the Motor City Comic Con, located in beautiful Novi, Michigan. Oh, I was down there last night. I had a show in Novi last night. Yeah. Oh, no shit. That's well, why it stinks so bad but... down there. <laughs> 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 you probably probably heard the laughter if you were down there from last night. Yeah, just... <laughs> it's just roaring through that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you count laughter as boo hiss. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a snake and yeah exactly an entire county of snakes Here we go. <laughs> Tom, well, i was just about to well what are you doing in, in <laughs> by the way he's like, at the motor city comic yeah randy, i know but, randy mm -hmm. yes we've got a two dollar donation from emily from the classy little podcast she wants yes. that cat poem she wants a cat poem oh this she is wants awesome. a cat poem oh, god so i a cat poem 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tom Cutler. <laughs> <That's exactly laughs> <what I'm talking laughs> And I also, really, really so, quickly, Doug Goodwin, yes, we did get your donation. It actually went over to the Cancer Research Institute site. $15. Thank you very much. He says, kudos yeah. to the Miserable Retail Slave Podcast for participating in the drive. I agree. Kudos. Right, producer, Thank Doug you very Goodwin. much. Yeah. By the way, anyone that donates $15 or more, get a hold of me because you can be on the show for an entire episode to co-host with us. What a what a thing. So, Emily, <laughs> this is from a book that I bought at a book sale for 25 cents. I think it was well worth it. It's called I Could Pee on This and Other Poems by Caps. <laughs> <laughs> Will you give credit to the author? Uh, Francisco. I can't say the last name, though. <laughs> so you won't give credit Marciliano. to the <laughs> I'm very disappointed that the name of the author wasn't like fluffy or midden or... <laughs> exactly oreo cat stevens <laughs> there you go <laughs> so this poem is called seriously the poem goes as follows <laughs> that's not how the poem goes but he is haunting around in the background behind justin right now ladies oh, and gentlemen okay. the god of podcasting himself the, the yeah he's of the Roy there he's, he's here he's here dicking goes. around seriously seriously Seriously? If I took you to the doctor, I would make damn sure you came back with both of them down there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to look forlornly out of window for like 18 years. 18 <laughs> long years. Seriously? That's, That's a, your cat poem, Emily. Thank you for poem. the donation. Yeah, I think it's great. What's better than that? It, it, it possibly brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. Frank Marks, right from your cat thing. Oh, yeah, old Frank Katzenstein over there. <laughs> Katzenberg there. Jeez. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys hear about that girl that was that sent that guy? They met on an online. Wasn't it like 35,000 texts? 65,000. Oh, 65,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even better. Yeah. Um, I'm married. I'm total, and I'm out of town without my family. I'm expecting at least thirty thousand tonight for my wife. <laughs> you would think, right? <laughs> um, this is one date, right? They this went on date. one date, and she was texting him just constantly, right? Somebody made the joke. I can't remember who it was, but somebody's like, she just wanted to make sure he made it home okay. Yeah. Are you there? Are you there? Did you make it home? You had He's one extra answering. beer. Come on. <laughs> That's kind of flattering, though, right? She, I mean, she was texting him and saying that she wanted to do pretty parts. Oh, very flattering. I mean, a woman wants to wear your wrist as socks. That's kind of, I mean, she holds you in high esteem, right? I mean, somebody says to me, I want to wear your body parts. I say, oh, great. What music are you into? Are you into that iPod now? Because this may be a connection. Who's dying in the background? Is that a cat throwing up? Sounds like no, uh, uh, the juice. bad connection might be from Tom and I. We're in a uh, hotel lobby right now, and a bunch of people just passed by, so it kind of got loud for a second. Oh. Is Tom attacking Alan Moore right now? <laughs> no, he didn't make it to this convention. And actually, Tom is the pro Alan Moore guy. Oh, okay. I see. I'm the one who thinks he's overrated. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a hater in every crowd. There really is. And the funny thing is, it's usually Tom. Usually, yes. Here we go. That is very really true. Tom, Tom is a hero of most things. You know? Yeah, Big he can drop. pretty much find Got to cut band. in again, guys. Big drop. Fifty-five dollar donation from Big Green yeah. Tool. Bring it up, baby. Wow. God, thirty-two dollars. Man, you guys are killing it already. A miserable retail slave. I'm pretty sure well over a hundred dollars in donos during your segment. Big Green yeah. Tool, shout out to Funnel Cloud Charles. He calls into the show at the Miserable Hotline, 810-328-3826. And he sounds like he's the middle in the middle of a cyclone whenever he calls. So that's Funnel Cloud Charles. God bless that man, huh? How about you that? You know, I have to I'm kinda of, I'm kinda of jealous that you probably use his calls, but you didn't use the one that H A B and I left for you. Yeah, I know. I lost that. That that was like a decade ago, Tonko. You that was you less than a year ago. ago. Yeah, exactly. A decade. Like, that's forever <laughs> ago. I can't sounds, deal with Sounds that. about right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. It is packed in here. 
I'm so um I'm so happy that you guys were actually able to dial in Tom and Jake. I I was uh and I'm sorry I don't know how long you were trying to get a hold of me down in uh, Discord because I'm bouncing around here. We're having all sorts of chat issues. Dildozer wants a Tommy insult. One dollar donation. Let it fly, Randy. <laughs> Ooh, a Tommy insult. <laughs> who, who donated? Do you know? My friend Bill. Oh, that's awesome. Fuck off, Bill. Jeez. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. By the way, Bill, I don't know if you know this or not, but Flint still does not have clean water. So, Tommy, have you smelled this tainted water, this Flint water? Yeah. yeah. It kind of stinks, right? Mm-hmm. What does it smell like? Do you know? Uh, me? It smells like you. Is that where you're going? I'm no, not at all. <laughs> Jeez, Tommy. No, I thought he was supposed to have an insult, but he doesn't know what to fucking do. So. Well, in the interest of science, I think you really need to to pinpoint what it smells like. So I suggest you waddle down to the Flint, Flint River, tuck your hand, head under the water, and inhale deeply, please. Oh, thank it you was very a much. Long winded insult. I well, get it. yeah, <laughs> it was a that's chore. a long that's a long a long game insult, man. It's, it's an adventure insult. It is an adventure insult, you know? I mean, I got to give you credit. That was a hell of a journey for $1. I mean, I mean the man had, the man cares about no money whatsoever. I also just got to drop help. a huge shout out in here. EDG dropping in with a $25 donation, $858 toward the cure. We're closing in on 20% already. And the miserable retail slave is still with us for another half an hour. This Half is amazing. An hour. I like how you said that. That's, that was cute. I was uh, I was grabbing a beer and uh, Randy informed me that Funnel Cloud Charles gave fifty five dollars. He's one of my knew. oldest friends in life. So one one thanks, of your biggest Charlie. pals. Yes, thank you, Charlie. Thank you uh, very I su- much. I suppose I should backtrack because I I was about to talk about that wonderful aim adventure before Tom Cohen and Jake. So World. rudely interrupted yeah. you. <laughs> I, I prefer the term "invaded." Yeah, I know. I, I feel like a foreign invader tried to take over our turf, and I'm planting the MRS flag. I'm like, no, sir. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or, or, or we could go with, like, a wrestling term, and uh, Tom and I just did a run-in. Oh, yeah, you did do a run-in. Un- Tag team. There you go. Randy, I hate, to, I hate to get in there again, but uh, we need another cat poem. We've got another $2 donation All in right. the stream. Oh. From Little Man, that's Emily's cat. Emily's cat wants to hear a poem. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Is Emily just going to keep up? Like, she she probably half, will. Yeah. The rest half hour just going to be read by Randy. Okay. Other than Dr. Evil, I don't know who would be better than cat <laughs> Now, just so you know, it, I, I'm looking at a man dressed as a banana. <laughs> Is it Jake? Um, no, no, no uh, Tom. Tom, that's not a banana. That's a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> you don't peel a Pikachu, Emily. This yeah. is a poem. It's called Nine well, Lives. You, you might not. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Nine Lives. The first life is for running. The second life is for staring. The third life is for climbing. The fourth life is for tearing. The fifth life is for sleeping. The sixth life is for sleeping. The seventh life is for sleeping. The eighth life is for sleeping. The ninth life is for writing my memoirs. Boom. Cat right. poem. What a fantastic deal there, huh? 25 cents for that? Two dollars. Oh, I mean, you overpaid. That's way more. <laughs> that's a lot of value there. Come on. My um, God. Justin, did you want to say something in there? I, th- I, thought, I thought you looked Justin, like you were trying to jump in there. Oh, me? No, and it's just my constipated face. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That is not the toilet, Justin. Do not take a shit right there. You got to sit there. But for I have three to days. go, and I know, and I know that the shit I have to take, Nick, is going to take at least twenty five minutes because that's how long it usually takes me. When I, I, it's it's hard, dude. It's hard. So I don't want to leave. Twenty five minutes. Swap in the sauce. Just swap. Just tag him in. Tag him in. I'm gonna. It's all going to tag him in. You need to adjust. You're gonna tag him in. I mean, come on. Don't they have softeners for that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude, I, eat, I eat a ton of fiber, man. I eat a ton of fiber. But more cheese. That the problem? Not, not, I, not I don't need much cheese. I, no, I just realized, no cheese. guys. I just realized we've been online for over an hour and I haven't hit this button yet. I sucked a dick last night. I can't believe it. I have no <laughs> idea who that is. <laughs> you know what? I just realized we've been online for an hour and I haven't hit this one yet. Oops. 
We don't know if she had like some dick in a glass. Now, <laughs> now, now Jake, are you still no. firmly against me getting a soundboard? Oh yes, like I've I, I've quoted before, uh, you getting a soundboard would probably question the future of the Jake and Tom kind of podcast. Did Tom just get knocked out? Yeah. You know what they say, Tom Co. <laughs> in the banana. Field. You know what they say, Tom Co. You need to shoot your well, shot. <laughs> you know, I, I I keep thinking about it, but I have a feeling that I probably shouldn't be trusted with that. <laughs> Nick shouldn't be trusted it's with that. Like he's been trolling me for over a fucking year. Yeah. I'm looking at it as like have you guys ever seen those YouTube videos where they turn old projection screens into like death rays? Just using the power of the sun and magnetism, I want one. I can. Yes, easily, we've all seen I that. Easily build, I could easily build it, but I know myself. I should not be trusted with that tool. <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. He's, oh, I don't know what he's talking about half the time. I'll either. Just I just kind of just I'll sit send there. It to you. Okay. He saw a walking banana, and now he's losing his. Son, no, yes. no. I will show you how to seriously. I can easily no. build a death ray. Yeah, the day you show me how to do anything is the day I keel over, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, uh, we did. Uh, we, we got another donation in there for one dollar from my good friend Bill. So we need another on YouTube, Tommy right? Thompson insult. YouTube. Oh man! So Tommy, you're testing me, Bill. What? You Tommy. mute you? Oh, yeah. There's a delay on YouTube. Yeah. Tommy's like compared the to the Discord person. Oh, we're on like Discord. Stare okay. at him. Yeah, but he's already got you on. You have to let your eyes on. This is the appearance. So he kind of blurs and gets. Is there a link? He's for so us? wide <laughs> that let him, go, let him go Jeez. out of focus. So he blurs together into the image of a normal sized human being. <gasps> well, thank you. you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I, that's why my eyes are always cross eyed looking at you right, right now. Here, there. Oh, Bill, you got to quit paying for these. They're terrible. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> What do you want from me? Just donate. <laughs> Just donate. Tell uh, Justin, tell the sauce to to uh, hang on for just a moment, and we'll get gotcha. him in here on the uh, on the video because I gotta I gotta rejigger the video settings to do that. Excuse me, what did you just say? <laughs> I said, <laughs> wait, did we get our Tommy insult? I'm sorry, I'm so busy running around here. Um, no, we didn't. <laughs> Man, I. <laughs> I feel like that guy in the lobby of that hotel that they're standing in got the got the uh, Tommy. <laughs> now I'm currently watching a lady who's uh, dressed as Georgie from It, but I'm kind of disappointed that she's actually got two arms instead of just the one. Oh, yeah. You can fix that, Tom. <laughs> I could if I had my death ray. Death ray. Listen to this guy. I live in the real world. Yeah. Uh, for the record, I'm not too worried about Tom having a death ray. It took him 45 minutes to figure out how to work Discord, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so my AOL story, which I've been trying to tell for like hours at this point. So the brunt of this whole segment is Randy never. Oh, God. It's not even that great. Great now, it's been hyped up so much. How can it even the foreshadowing? Yeah, I mean, you came too prepared, Randy. I, I, I guess you know. <laughs> oh, now, I, I gotta, I gotta give oh, you a compliment wow. here, Randy. Okay, go ahead. I'll this, take compliments all day long. This live podcast right here, right now, uh -huh. significantly marked improvement over the last one. Well, you didn't, you weren't watching beforehand when they were having all sorts of difficulties, <laughs> and, and I wanted to be a major troll and, and type in buffering and frame rate. But <laughs> I, I would have deserved it. You would have deserved it, but you already had angry. Ang you had resting bitch face at that point, and I, I didn't did. want to push this through. Yeah. <laughs> You were biting your little lip and looking sideways. I'm like, oh, that's not a man to be trifled with over there. <laughs> <laughs> what a great laugh. Yeah, who is that? that, that I think it was Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> there. Man. I, I don't uh, know for, for the record, the spot that we're at right now, Tom picked out. So I'm not just trying to blame him for everything, just everything he screws up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know I mean, if you know about this this about me, Tommy, but in real life, I'm kind of a ham. And, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I I really like to cut up. You know? Yes, 
you know. So that Nicholas laugh reminded me of this guy, this colleague of mine, and I don't remember what I even said. It was probably some awesome workplace humor, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I said it to me, or I said it to him, <laughs> and and he he started laughing, but he went. <laughs> I'm like, oh, guy. why are you clicking at me there? <laughs> you were so funny. You gave him just, I gave him some clicks. I'm like, what do you got? Some Tic Tacs rolling around in there? I don't understand that. My AOL story, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a buildup. <laughs> so, is that the AOL Real story? quick, I just got to say I'm uh, watching a, uh, it's kind of cool, a uh, major comic book artist walk by right now. Uh oh, who's that? Brian Stelfreeze. Did you trip him? Well, not yet. Did you put him in an arm bar so he never works again? Sorry, you've seen me. Do I look stealthy to you at all? <laughs> no, but it looks like you could break an arm, probably. Yeah, probably. Maybe he's getting so mad he hasn't been able to tell his A.O. <laughs> I'm over it. I love it. Keep interrupting over. him. I never, I'll never tell it again. Thank you very much. I really think we, we, need, we, need, we need a donation in the stream us. right now. We need a donation in the stream right now to get the AOL story. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that is a good start or idea <laughs> or story. I want to hear the story. story. Now, is it possible that this story is going to live up to the hype? No. No, no I really want to hear it. Never. I know. can at this point. We're just going to wait for the donation. <laughs> We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. Every time I open my mouth, Tom goes like, oh, my God, believe what I see walking before my eyes. <laughs> Things I see that you can't see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this is radio. You have to describe it. You can't just show it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this AOL. <laughs> Are you going for it? I, I'm, I'm going to dive head first. I'm just... Oh, you were rounding for the last time. I know, right? <laughs> God. God. Jeez, okay. We're just trying to make it back to the surface. I'm trying. See, this, this, was before, <laughs> this was before the Facebook and before even MySpace, honey. You know, this is, was in the golden age, you know. And I was I was really worried about... Here's the problem. I was worried about being catfished, and that wasn't even a thing at the time. Oh, you are so ahead of your time, huh? Well, I mean, you know, I'm... Well, probably not. I'm pretty sure that... When people uh, put personal ads in newspapers in the 1970s, I'm sure some lad along the way was like, oh, this hot girl wants to meet me. And he showed up, and it was a dude with some wicked sideburns and dressed like Magnum P.I., you know? That's a bad thing. No. No? I mean, you might get a cool buddy out of it. A cool buddy? Yeah. Sounds like you can go drink some Miller Lights with that dude. Okay, well, go ahead and make friends that way, Tommy. <laughs> Let's go riding in his Trans Am. <laughs> yeah, well, a dude like that has to have a Trans Am, right? Sure. Or a Firebird. Take your pick. <laughs> my name is Harley, and I drive a Harley. <laughs> and when I'm not riding on my steel horse, I like hanging out with my three sons, Brody, Wheelie, and Donut. <laughs> So, so the story. So the You're interrupting story. yourself now, Randy. God damn it! You know. <laughs> so it, I, this group of friends I was hanging out with. This was probably 2000, 2001. They were telling me back uh, when you had friends. Back when I had friends, Tommy. Right. The, the, the glory years is what I call them. <laughs> back when I mattered is what I call those. That decade. We have this friend. She's so hot and smart and funny. And I'm like, where is the glorious unicorn? Because this doesn't sound like any person that exists in real life. And they're like, well, you should chat with her on AIM. And I'm like, what's AIM? And they're like, it's this thing you do over the internet where you chat. And I'm like, what's chatting? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> We've I had a no donation idea. request in the chat from Bill. $5 donation. Thank you very much, Bill. He wants a random interview from someone in the hotel lobby. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I like that donation. Go ahead, Tom Co. Yeah, it's all you, Tom. Oh, no. Come on, Tom. Yeah. It's Take a $5 all donation. All the work on the I think this is on you. What? Oh, what a coward. Oh. You're yellow. You're yellow. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, there's this goofy looking guy with this really stupid hat next to me. I'm going to try to talk to him. Awesome. Yes. Tell him what's how's going on. How's the show going so far, sir? Oh, oh the show. It's, it's dramatic. It's just walking in endless people. Ah! Oh, my God. What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. I literally found the weirdest person in the room. That's amazing. Ask him another question. Yeah. Ask, ask him if the earth is flat. Ladies and gentlemen. Do you believe the earth is flat or round? It's a square. I'm <laughs> bringing a world, a bizarre world. Ladies and gentlemen, I have got to jump in here right now. We broke $1,000 with a huge, massive $200 donation yes! from Dominic of the Angry Old Man Podcast. Thank you very, very My much. We are God. now 21.3% of the way toward the goal. Over $1,000 already, ladies and gentlemen. We're like an hour and a half in. Absolutely. This- Nick, hold up, hold up. Can you give him a refund? Because he didn't even hear the AOL story yet. <laughs> Has anybody made a money donation for the AOL story to not be told yet? Uh, that has not you're happened. Voting, you're voting with your mouth, okay? That God has not it. happened. Yeah, neither has the AOL story. It never will. I'm, I'm of it. We got that you had friends and you didn't know what chatting was. Okay. I'm I'm done. I'm over it. Such a build up. I know. And now it's ruined. <laughs> Trampled on. <laughs> oh, God. It's gone like AOL in itself. I know, right? Damn it. We've moved on to better things like Facebook. Right. Have we? Is yeah. that a better thing? <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Nicholas, I gave you some homework. Did you did you come through with that? I did come through with my homework. Is it time for misconnections? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, really, <laughs> gentlemen, we do this thing on our program called Miss Connection, where we scour the Craigslist and look for lost souls who are in need of love. And Nick said that he would scour his neck of the woods. And uh, you know what I believe this is? I believe it's just Randy trying to find out if he's involved in any of these misconnections. The slyly trying to be like, is anybody going to answer my? I'm like, excuse me, is that me? Is that me? Wait a minute, is that me? Is that me? I think she means me. Right, for sure. Go ahead, Nicholas. All what right, do you so got? This is actually one that I found today. Uh, misconnections, Tommy. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. If not my house in Freeville, we'd meet at the Red Roof. It's been almost two years. I miss the times we had. There's nothing but commas in here. No periods, nothing, just commas. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, he doesn't want to end the sentence. The love will go on forever, Nick. Don't you understand the poetry there? I miss the times we had. I've put plenty of posts on here looking for you, just looking for a response, so I know you're okay. So Maybe we should hook up with that girl that sent that 35 text messages to one guy. Sounds like they would get along You mean the 65,000? Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. Tommy like was only off by 64,965. <laughs> that's yeah, that's counting. I mean, you know what? Yeah. You say what you will about this lady, but she does have dedication and loyalty. Okay, so right. there's that. I, and guess what? It's not like that guy wasn't enjoying it. First of all, he let it get to 65,000 text messages and he didn't even block that fucking number. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, you know, he was sitting there like, dude. This is amazing. This is, he was keeping count. This is text message 64,493. Dude, I can't believe you know, it. You know he has a buddy that's, hey, every time she texts you, we got to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. The funeral. Right on. Okay. I'm honestly kind of hoping that they publish those as a book. I mean, as cat phone, <laughs> of all That'd things. Awesome. A book. <laughs> we should get one of Randy's cat friends and I know. turn them into poems. Okay, back to the issue at hand. The Red Roof woman, her oh, man. Oh, sure. Yeah, continue. Nicholas. I mean, they they had a they had something going. You know, the Red Roof was their hangout, if not their house. Their, My favorite house. part of this is, yeah, they would meet at his house, but he okay. doesn't know how else to get a hold of this person except for maybe I was he. Maybe about she, that. I don't know if it was a he or a she or whatever, but if they met it. The person's house, like you didn't ever get their phone number, like they would just randomly show up and disappear into the night. 
<laughs> I missed that connection by not getting. Yeah. Like, I would go in my front yard and send off a smoke signal, and she would arrive. <laughs> yeah. But it's been too windy lately. And I don't smoke. give. I don't give up my phone number. Just my address. Just my address. All right. <laughs> I don't need to have sixty-five thousand text messages. He's been sitting at the window like the dog, waiting for his owner to come back home. <laughs> just, just doesn't show up. So, all right, gentlemen. Well, I think we are gonna pop off, but we'll pop, at least I'll uh, probably pop on again tomorrow. Uh, but I just want to commend you. What are you starting to fight in the lobby of that hotel, Tomko? <laughs> No, 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 I'm just merely a witness. Yeah, you just pulled the fire alarm, didn't you? He's like, it's about to pop off. That means he's going to jack a motherfucker. But no, I, I just want to commend you, Nick. This is an amazing thing you're doing, and you deserve all, you, everybody involved deserves all the credit in the world, man. Yeah, it's 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 absolutely amazing. Uh, to, to just, we're already over $1,000. Justin, and the sauce, the sauce has been here all this time, and he hasn't even had a chance to chime in because we've just been, everybody's been 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 running so busy here. But uh, welcome, sauce, to the video and making me scramble to get him in here really quickly. Hi, so, sauce. So we will talk. At least I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. Jake and Bye, Tom, Tom I love you. Uh, See you guys. Thanks for having us on. Bye, Jake. Bye. Can we change Loy Sauce's name to Awesome? <laughs> yes. Can we? I think it's there was not. some talk of, of changing his name into the Big Sauce Man. Oh, I like that. The Big, like the big sauce, sauce Man, man. but it's the Big Sauce Man. I'm, I'm fucking Ragu over here. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like. Why'd you go Ragu over Prego? You got something for Prego? Well, Prego reminds me of the maybe daddy thing, and you can't <laughs> kiss a baby, Tommy. Get That's with it. it. Nicholas, do you have any more misconnections? We only got eight minutes left. Oh, my God. I've got all right, misconnections, Tommy. <laughs> I should have followed up. I real I left really excited and should have followed through on my desire to ask you out. You were very sexy and proud of what you carried, like her luggage <laughs> or something. You sat on the bench and gave me a very nice show. Thank you. Can you hear anything? Oh my goodness. Wow. Can you hear everything? Mm -hmm. Is your mic working? Very nice show. Uh, I wonder if right she now, had a puppet or I, something. I haven't even, I haven't even plugged it in. Maybe yet. she's a ventriloquist. Oh, okay. I like the way you feel your voice, girl. You should probably try it. That's amazing. Wow. If you're interested, what time and day did we get in? Let me know what color your shirt was. I will never forget, as I keep seeing you when I close my eyes. This is the kicker. This is the kicker. I am interested in something physical, if you are. <laughs> only if you are. Only if you are. I only see you when I close my eyes every time. But I'm only interested if you are. Don't don't call me weird or anything. Yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> creepy. Yeah, I, I'm totally cool if you're not cool with it. Like, I, Yeah, like, I, I, I haven't thought about you for like two seconds now so i'm okay. all about the me too movement not the me first <laughs> okay you know I, I care about your feelings <laughs> but boy that shirt you were wearing i wonder if your she, feelings i wonder if she the show she was giving probably not you wouldn't think so <laughs> like, she's like what show yeah like she was doing a, a <laughs> something strip tells tease me. on a park bench like something, i don't get it something tells me the girl that was in this does not know who she is like she doesn't, she doesn't even know, know who she is she she has a know, no she doesn't even know that she it could, she could be reading it and like never know that that was actually what was going through his head you know what i mean this is just all in this guy's head for sure no <laughs> and she you gave know? him a hell of a show yeah right, without even knowing though right wait you you mean to tell me that men think that women are sometimes interested in them when they're not really <laughs> interested in them Get out of this town, sir. That's the only you're reason why you mind. ever met somebody online. Oh, my. You, you're you just... <laughs> you missed the whole point of humanity, Tommy. You have no clue. You, you, you don't even care about the opposite sex. The only porn what? you're into is Fifty Shades of Gravy. <laughs> so get out of here. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you've ever said. Oh, thank you. Because I much. do like light gravy. I like dark <laughs> gravy. I like, you know, there's a lot of different gravies. I, I like my in. gravy like I like my women. <laughs> dark. <laughs> I was turkey say, like, flavored. I like turkey. Wait. Right, right. <laughs> I like my turkey and chicken. Oh, gross. What? You can't eat a woman, Tommy. I said turkey and chicken. I like the dark meat. 
And the turkey and chicken. You're just digging yourself in a uh, bigger hole. You're I, calling all women turkeys. Uh, you are all sure. those dark meat turkeys out there. I is what only I heard. love the beloved. You know that, Randy. You call her a dark meat turkey. That's <laughs> what I heard. I can't. Be, I can't help it. Oh, you're an ass. Well, <laughs> hee haw, hee haw. Oh God, Jesus. I'm a talking Mr. Ed over here. Okay. <laughs> you are a horse's ass. Oh, you know. Nick, can we get one last final total on what we've donated? Help donate, help raise. Oh, geez! In in the past hour, in the past hour, uh, I don't. I God. Uh, let's see. That's about. That's about a hundred million dollars. That's about like a hundred and. I would say probably about like four hundred or something like that. I don't know. In the past hour. Yeah. I'll I haven't uh, I haven't tallied it exactly yet, but well, get out your abacus, count on your fingers. The total is over a thousand now, though. You said the total right? is well over a thousand dollars now. You know, you realize we're like a hundred dollars away from the total, and I mean the total amount that we raised all last year during the entire wow. event last year, and we're only an hour and a half in. Well, look at that! I mean, look at that! That's a good way to show your guys' success, right? I mean, you're helping somebody, and you're also going, "Wow, we're doing something really fun that people enjoy." So good for you guys! Still okay. okay. refuses to to stop donating one dollar to get more Tommy insults. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it, Bill! Bill, you need to watch your step because you're messing with the Sasquatch over there. <laughs> you know, like a Jack Lynx. He's sitting there. He wishes he was a Slim Jim, but he's more. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper Jack. Yeah, you are full of beef and you are... <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for your constant donations. Oh my uh, god. Well, we've only got a no couple of minutes video. left here on we do. Randy and Tommy. They're about to walk off into the sunset. But before you do, I want you okay. to let everybody out there that's watching the live stream for the cure right now know who is, what is, who are, whatever. The <laughs> The Miserable Retail Slave Podcast. Tell us where we can find you, what you love to do, and yeah, how much you Miserable hate Tommy. Miserable Retail Slave is a big, dumb comedy sh show that talks about life, love, and the odd daily occurrences that keeps life interesting. You can find me at Twitter at mretailslave, Instagram, Miserable Retail Slave Podcast. You can find Tommy on the Facebook at Tommy Thompson. He's a touring comedian all, all over the Midwest. And I'm going to the south this summer. Let me get that in. Oh, you're, you're going to be a out. southern summer. <laughs> uh, what we're all about. I'll wear a bonnet if I have to, sure. What we're all about. I know the the hot thing in podcasts these days is to have topics. Topics. we got to have topics. got to be a specific topic about this Never specific topic. Excuse me, but if I start a podcast about Craig T. Nelson's big toe, that's going to do Coach. blockbuster numbers. <laughs> Give me a break. So we're a big, dumb comedy show. Our only intent is to... I'm more interested in Jerry Van Dyke's big toe than <laughs> Craig T. Nelson. Now that you mention it, so am I. Right, it's I bet be... that's got some stories <laughs> oh, to tell. Geez. Good Lord. So we're only interested in entertaining people and making sure their life <laughs> is a little less stressful, you know, because... The daily nine to five. I'm a miserable retail slave. I get it. The daily nine to five can drain you, and it's it's it sucks. So we're here to ease the burden of the everyday stress. Before we leave, I want to say to everyone that donated, to everybody that listened, to everybody that's ever listened to our show, thanks for all the support. I really, oh, I love the clap. I really feel it right now. It almost sounds weird. I'm overwhelmed by all the donations and stuff that we got and the yes, money we raised. Amazing. I feel like I could cry like a baby, but I won't, ladies, because You're you amazing. can't kiss a baby. Good night, everybody. We're Thank out. You guys. Thank you very much for being on, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. That was amazing. I ended on a good note, and you're still talking, you <laughs> ass. <laughs> Thank you very up, much, Randy and Tommy. You guys are amazing. Thank you very, very much for opening us, kicking us off with a huge influx of donations. Uh, you, you guys are, are absolutely fun. amazing. No problem. Paul. Good luck. I hope you raise ten thousand more dollars. I don't I even really want hope to so too. Oh, I'll slave anymore. I just want to do this. I okay. Like, I like them guys better. Justin and Nick, I'm joining your guys' show. You can <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Bye bye. <laughs>